Virtual desktops on Plasma are the worst, but this is just a super fast guide how to enable them, because believe it or not, I get this question enough times. So, I'm on Plasma 5.17, and I've set everything to default. Open settings, and then go to workspace behavior. And virtual desktops. Here, we want to set two rows and four desktops, so we'll get a 2x2 two two grid. Why Plasma still uses a grid for virtual desktops? A god knows! Anyway, apply the changes, and actually I'm going to set it on three rows and back to two again, because it just bugged. So, now we have this applet on taskbar, and we can switch between desktops, and we can also change the switching effect. For example from slide to cube. But I think I will set that back to slide. Next thing we want to do, is to enable a hot corner for the virtual desktops overview, and we do that from screen edges panel. So, set the corner to desktop grid, and also you really want to lower the timing, because with the 150ms bugs for some reason, when it seems to work fine with 50ms. And not to mention there isn't pressure sensitivity, which is a huge issue. And hot corners are also triggered when we use full screen apps. On second thoughts, you may not really want to enable this option on Plasma, which to be fair, it works super good on GNOME. But if you choose to enable it, then you can do this. Hit the corner, get into the overview, and move your windows around. The final thing you need, is to set the shortcuts. So, go to shortcuts settings, and on K1 section. And now wish me good luck on finding anything inside here! Ok I got it! So, we want to set the desktop grid shortcut, and I will set that on Super NS. And I'm telling you, Plasma has made shortcuts design in an unexplained complicated way. It seems simple, but actually you're getting confused, and you don't know what shortcut you're actually changing. Anyway, then I will set desktop navigation shortcuts to super control and arrows. There are a few more things we can do on virtual desktops, but that's really the setup I'm using. And by the way, it would be a good idea if Plasma was adding by default shortcuts for the workspaces. It is very annoying when users should set those, not because it takes time, but because it is confusing if we use multiple KDE installations that have different shortcuts. Oh, and a last thing. Go back to virtual desktops, and disable the wraparound navigation. This setting drove me nuts. For a second I thought I would start losing it, because you go right, but you actually go left, you go up, but you actually go down. 